Hello, Stan and Pors has just published a report which says that a rebounding Japanese yen threatens the country's fiscal turnaround. In the studio with me is the author Kimeng Tan. So Kimeng, maybe before we look at the reasons behind that uh, mm -hmm. headline in the report, what, you know, over the last three years we have seen a significant improvement in Japan's budget deficit. What was behind that? Yeah, right. Uh, in the past few years, we do see quite a significant narrowing of the fiscal deficit in Japan, uh, starting from fiscal year 2013. Uh, we believe that the reason has been mainly due to strong revenue growth, because if you look at government spending, it has been growing very steadily at uh, very low single-digit rates. This doesn't seem to have changed in the past few years. What has changed is the strong pickup in revenue growth. Um, before 2013 fiscal year, Revenue growth was uh, relatively low at below 1% annually in the, uh, in the two years prior to that. But uh, from 2013, we saw an acceleration. Firstly, uh, it jumped to more than 5% in fiscal 2013 and sub subsequently picked up even further in fiscal 2014. Based on more timely data, we believe that this strong revenue growth has continued in the latest fiscal year. And uh, talking about revenue growth, how mm. has the depreciation of the yen in 2013 helped mm -hmm. that growth? Well, in two main ways. One is that uh, Japanese foreign earnings are translated into yen terms becomes much bigger, even if the foreign currency earnings remain the same. So as a result, we are seeing interest income to the Japanese government, government increasing quite sharply since 2013. And we are also see corporate income taxes from the exporters contributing more in recent years. Now, the second way by which the weaker yen helps is to by drawing in a great deal more tourists compared to before. And this has helped not just in helping domestic uh, businesses' profits, but also uh, sales tax contribution. And what room is there for the Japanese government to cut costs if revenue disappoints? Yeah, um, that is the key point of the, this article. Uh, because of the recent rebound in the Japanese yen, and if that rebound is sustained, we could see all of the factors that had contributed to higher revenue growth uh, dissipate to some, effect, in, in, uh, to some extent. Now, in that case, we could see revenue growth uh, disappointing, uh, disappoints compared to what we expect of Japan uh, over the next few years. Now, in such a case, obviously, the Japanese government can continue to see improving fiscal deficit if it can cut costs. But we do see limited room for the Japanese government to do that, mainly because um, costs that are easily cut, like capital spending, make up a small share of total Japanese government spending. And the large part of it is actually social security spending. And this uh, spending are always difficult to cut uh, because of political pressures. So uh, we do expect the, some deterioration or at least uh, a slower improvement in the fiscal balance if uh, the yen is sustained at current strong levels. Thank you, Kim Meng. And if you would like to see uh, or read the whole article, you can find that as usual on the Global Credit Portal. Thank you for watching.